Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I know that I haven't done a haul in a while and I've been um, just doing some a little bit of shopping and then saving stuff. So I want to do a kind of collective haul between Walmart clearance, Walmart uh, Dollar Tree. I have something from the 99 cent store, which is one that's I don't usually go to. It's 99 power. Um, and then Burlington Coat Factory, and I have some from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. As I get to them, I'll show you. Christmas tree shops, yes. So let me show you some things. I'm going to tell you about some craft projects I'm going to be doing that I'm going to get videos up for. And I've been making videos. I just haven't been getting them posted. So you're going to probably see a lot post. And that's fine. Let me show you something I got from... This was at Burlington. Now, I told you mugs are my weakness. And I was with my son. He was getting ready for a trip. And so we went to get some clothing. We stopped in the Burlington Co. Battery. It's funny, he said to me, you know, they have a really nice house reception. You want to look, right? And I'm thinking like, okay. And so then I was looking at the mugs and my husband like steered me away from them. But I kind of look and I, and I really have been controlling myself on mugs. Before I get to that, a few weeks ago in TJ Maxx, here's my coffee, I got these mugs. And the reason I got these, these remind me of a mug that my mother had when we were a kid, she had a set of four and they did have four. They had all different colors. I limited myself to two and I keep second guessing that I didn't get the other two, but I'm good with two. The other one I have is yellow. They have bunnies. There's a little bunny on the bottom. They even have like matching bowls, but I controlled myself as well. And, um, you know, they have the green color inside the cup and my mother had ones. I'm going to try to find a picture of them. It was almost like a chalkboard paint, but it was brown, but that type of finish. And if you hear my kids, they're home from school because we're having another nor'easter. Lovely, isn't it? How spring's coming in. So yeah, they're battling with, um, that's how, that's, that's what happens. Cabin fever. Um, but anyway, they have a little bunny on them and just really cute. And it was, so it was a chalkboardish kind of paint. It wasn't. I'll have to find out what it is because my aunts had matching bowls that had the color inside and then they had a little lip of color. If you have, know what I'm talking about, but this exact same shape, I love them. And, you know, slowly they broke and whatever, they were gone. But whenever I see something like that, it reminds me of it. So that's what I get. So this is one that I thought was nice, and I like this for a couple of reasons. This is the kind of shape of like the diner mugs or Denny's, and it's a very thick, keeps your coffee really nice, very thick ceramic, keeps your coffee really nice and hot, but I just love the look of this. I have one from, is it the Mirror Lake Inn? Um, hmm. It's one of the places I stayed. No, I think it's uh, Woodlock, Woodlock. So, and I like it a lot. So this is Ms. Boss Lady, and um, they always call me the boss around here, my contractors and everything. So I thought this was nice and got this. They had a lot of nice mugs there. I They had so many cute Easter ones and things, but I, like I said, I really control myself with mugs and this was $3.99. So I think this was okay. And then I went to the Christmas tree shop, saw this mug. My daughter loves to bike. I love to bike. But this is I Love Us. And then it's got this really nice glossy kind of like, it's not straight as you can see. It's very um, handcrafted look to it. And then this has a wonderful feel, the glaze they put on this. So it's a nice big mug. Inside you've got nice ridges. And it just it feels really good in your hand. And it says, it says Hallmark, dishwasher and microwave save 12 $99.95 and it was $2.99. So these were great. It's hard to get something like this for a gift because this is like a significant other. I love us or maybe if you did have a biking girlfriend or you know I mean even a, a platonic friend maybe you could do that but it might be kind of weird but you know what I mean. Anyway so yeah these were really nice. I wish they had more styles. Then I saw these salad servers and these were on clearance at the Burlington Co. Factory for $2.99 and these are by Core is the name and let's see salad servers so I thought they were nice I thought the the reddish color was different and I picked those up okay then I picked up also at the Burlington Coat Factory 
some socks. I love Charlie Brown and Snoopy Peanuts characters. So these were cute. These were actually in the men's department. And this is Charlie Brown. And these were $2.99, regularly $8. And they are by um, peanuts.com. So I pick those up. And then, let me see here. I picked the Joe Cool ones up. I love Joe Cool. Had a really nice Joe Cool sweatshirt. I don't know where it went. Uh, it's one of my favorites, hoodie. Now let me see. Oh yeah, one more because I like Volkswagen buses. So these were by Funky Socks, and these were also $2.99. All the socks were $2.99. Really cute. These were in the men's department, but I'm going to wear them. Okay, so now let's do some Christmas tree shop to go along with that mug. They have these little scrubbies. And I like these. These are a dollar. These are also good because I scrub my potatoes really well, but they're really cute because you see there will be a little character. And so scrubbies, fun way to clean pots and pans, dishes. Got that. I got this one. He fell off his card. The little pig. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And I have a frog here somewhere. But I also got these brushes. These were on sale for a dollar because I guess they're clearance because they're fall and autumn. Well, who cares? It's a nice little brush. It's nice little leaves. And I also got these brushes. I use these all the time in my kitchen sinks and all over in the bathrooms for cleaning. So I got three of those. And then, let me see if I have anything else from the Christmas. I've, I've been really controlling what I'm buying because I do not want my house looking like um, a hoarder's house. So I'm trying to buy what I really need. And let me see here. So this, let me see. I have a frog somewhere. I don't know. I'll, we'll probably get to him in a minute. He's probably in one of the other things. Let's, do, let's quickly do a little Dollar Tree. I am having a party for... Uh, Actually, this is for my older son. He was really into Legos, but I'm doing that pizza restaurant, uh, that pizza food truck thing on his cake because um, he actually owns a restaurant now. So he's doing it right now. So I got him these because I'm going to do that It's because it's an Italian restaurant and pizzeria. And then I got those. And I figured they didn't have any more of the Lego stuff, but I was just going to do everything and just different colors so that's what I got just just for a small family party just us immediate our, our immediate family at the 99 cent store they always have a selection of chocolate and these were the Lindor and these were these were 279 I think and so this is for the 8.5 ounce and then they had the Ferrara Rocher for $2.99. Somebody looks like they got into these. <laughs> I saw them sitting there. I was wondering how nobody found them because I bought them like a week ago. Anyway. Okay. Back to the Dollar Tree. I found that sometimes these are hard to find, but I make a lot of essential oil sprays and things. So I found a lot of these and I now I can find them like crazy in this one. So I picked up four of them. One I used in one of the kids, but I filled it up with water in blue. So got those. And I'm going to be doing, showing you like some of the sprays and things I make. Some of the cleaners. I use a lot of cleaners, but I make some too. Okay. I use a lot of cleaners that are safe and non-toxic, but I make some too. I should say that I don't use toxic cleaners. Okay, so I got these bins. You're probably familiar with them. Two green, one red. I also saw this as I was checking out. My son's like, what do you need that for? And I'm like, I need that for my sewing room. I really do. So a dollar, you know, so I, did, I picked that up. And then I saw this. And um, this is so cute because it reminds me once when my father these boxer shorts once and they had this little heart <laughs> they were supposed to be for my we were really young my sister and I we really liked them and some of them say okay I'll get them 
and it said my heart beats for you and it was like this clacking heart and then these really loud boxer shorts and it was in some like boutique kind of store this is back in the day right and came in this really nice gift box and we gave it to my dad and he was like so like he he really pretended he liked it I don't think he ever wore them. They were always in a drawer. I wish, oh my gosh, so many things, you, you know, you wish you had thought about when people move and stuff, like my parents moved. I don't know what happened to that little heart. My heart beats for you. Could be here, who knows? But it was this little clacking heart. It was really cute. Anyway, it was always in the drawer, so we used to take it out and play with it and then notice that he was never, ever wearing them because he was probably, like, so embarrassed of them. So anyway... I saw the little chattering teeth, and I've always seen these around, but these have eyeballs, and I've controlled myself and bought just one. <laughs> but I just thought, very cute, I like that. Okay, so chattering teeth over there, and then I got a couple of these green baskets. Okay. And... I got these um, because my kids are going on an Easter egg hunt I, with snow. I wish they would, do, I don't know, no, and this one place they use real eggs, which we don't eat, and I mean, it's just like crazy, but the kids like to go to it because there's pictures of the Easter Bunny and all their friends are there, so we do it every year, and so many times it's been bone-chilling cold that our ears have like frozen off, and now since it's early this year and we're getting another newer Easter and there's already about 12 inches on the ground. I don't know what they're going to do. My husband doesn't want to go and if it was, I'll tell you the truth, if it wasn't for the pictures of the Easter Bunny, neither would I because we do our own Easter egg hunt at home with, um, no. Anyway, so I got these. So that they could carry them and they would be lightweight and, oh, so then I went to, let's, oh, let me finish Dollar Tree. Okay. So then I saw these. These were the over-the-cabinet towel bars. I wanted to get these for like my, I'll show you my bathroom vanity door upstairs and I'll see how those work out. Um, and my husband and I each have a side and then I just picked up another one because I hadn't seen them. So three of those. I'm going to get these out of the way. bought a couple of bottles of this. Bath soak. Um... For my daughter, I'm going to put them in an Easter basket. She's been taking a lot of baths. She just moved to a brownstone in Brooklyn. And so she has a nice tub in her bathroom. And I tried to get her the other bath bombs because she's been buying, you know, different ones. But I told her I'd pick up these because I like, these are like the only ones I will use because they don't have those nasty chemicals. So I picked up those. And she uses essential oils that we both use. Um, picked up four of these. Right now I can only find two and I can only find the one of these, but I'd probably put them away for her. So anyway, okay. That's that. Um, okay. And then now let's see. Oh, I've got to tell you guys something. I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday. I was like where the containers are. They had this huge cone not like this. This is not from the Dollar Tree, it, but it was, it was like this. It was bigger. It was in a cone. It was peaches and cream. It wasn't the small little peaches and cream. It was the huge one, the one that sells for $8 at Walmart. I only found out it sells for $8 after I left the store. It was in a white and had a little like black flecking. And that's the reason I saw it on the shelf. I picked it up. It's a huge cone. And I'm like, wow, is there a dollar? That seems kind of weird. You know, and I thought, well, I'm making these string egg crafts. I've done them before, but I'm going to do them again with yarns this time. I used colored like twines the last time. We're going to use yarns. So I picked it up. I had it in my hand, but because it was mostly white, you know, like I stopped for a minute and I put it back and I said, well, maybe they have other colors. And I ran around and looked and they didn't. I'll show you what I did get, but this is not, this is from Walmart. So I go back immediately. It's gone. Okay. And I hear this woman go, do you have any more colors of these? And I knew right away she had it. And I'm, well, well, maybe she needed it more than I. They didn't have any more. And I kind of think, I mean, I scoured to see if anybody's hauled those big, big cones to see if that was just a mistake or what. Because I couldn't find it at all and I've never seen them. So if you've ever seen the big, giant cones from Peaches and Cream of yarn, 
let me know the ones that sell for eight dollars elsewhere let me know not the little tiny ones i've seen you guys haul those i'm talking about the big big peaches and cream okay so i'll get into that in a minute um okay so ollie's i got some books and stuff that i don't have here but i got these now, these are really 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 nice chevron window panels but they're really thick they're energy saving they're room darkening and they're easy care and i'll tell you why i got these 5.99 and these were from kmart okay so we have a kmart that's going out of business i haven't business yet um couldn't beat these for 5.99 i thought even for a back rent. i bought there's two panels in each one i bought the last two i want to do these um in my sewing room i think it'll be really nice right behind i have a big window behind there just to have them on either side i think it'd be nice and then i also want to use a pair because in our basement which we're going to be doing a lot of projects in now we're building some shelves there we're going to bring you along on that tutorial some really easy shelves to build in in like the storage section of it but i'll show you more but i thought this would make a really nice door like under the stairs there's like a big closet it doesn't have a door but it's finished with sheet rocking and painted and i wanted to put like a tension bar or something or even a curtain rod and put these up i think i'll use a tension bar because i think i have one but I thought that was great. Now, they also had a lot of levelor tension bars, curtain rods. I was trying to control myself too until, because I, sometimes I get too ahead of myself with projects and I think, well, it won't be here the next time I come back. But then it gets like too overwhelming because it's too much to do. But I did get, I bought some tension rods in Walmart the other time and I saw these levelor ones and they're like a triangular shape and I'm going to do something with these in my laundry room. I'll show you what it is. 16 by 26 and these were $1.49 by Levelor. So I got those. That was at Ollie's. And I also got, I was going to buy two of them. I didn't. I held myself off. Then when I went to Walmart and saw they were $9.99 in Walmart, I should have bought two of them. The Levelor. These are the magnetic ones that go in a steel door. I have a steel door from the house to the garage that has a window. So I wanted to get this to put up like a cafe curtain. I probably should have got one for on top too to put like a balance if I wanted. But yeah, I, I got this one now, um, $2.99 and we'll see. Maybe I'll just hang a curtain from the top with tears. We'll see. Anyway, now. Let's see, yeah, there's so much stuff. Okay, so let's go back to Dollar Tree. I got these, Happy Easter for desserts on Easter. These are cute. Um, oh, I got this for our string string eggs. We need. I needed this balloon blower. I don't know, I have many of them. I don't know where they are. I wasn't gonna fuss for a dollar. And then I got, I needed those like eggs, very small balloons. So I got these, I hope they'll work. Try that out, let you know with our craft. And I did get some yarns, but I don't think my husband brought them in for some reason. Um, I got a really nice one that's um, th like $3 in Walmart. And it's very thick, and it's like a bluish green turquoise. So I, got, I did get that. And let's see. Let's see, my daughter's very particular shirt. If I told you what my daughter, well, if you're knitters, you probably know what they spend on, like alpaca yarns and stuff. But these are for crafts. So anyway, I went to Walmart, and I was like still reeling that I didn't pick that thing. But it was white, and then I saw this one, and this is $2.97, and I think this is going to work really nicely. And I'm going to do that other yarn that I got at the dollar store. So that's going to be the string eggs. I also got... Got these last year in white, I think, and colored them ourselves. And I think I got them in color too last year. But I got two packs of these. And the reason is I'm going to use them for some decorations. But this should, for those of you that are longtime Dollar Tree customers, these I probably picked up at the Dollar Tree at least, at least 15 years ago. How crazy is that? How crazy is that, guys? It might even be longer than that. They used to have really nice stuff like this. <laughs> this, these little rabbits remind me of PJ Funny Bunny. Do you guys know PJ Funny Bunny? My kids have a nightlight from him. He was crazy um, expensive. I got him in some gift shop. My uncle bought him for my kids. But I think at the time, that's probably what really attracted me, that these were, um, and I still have like, the case creation little thing on them. But these were really cute, and I 
can find just one now, but I think I got these from like Walter Drake. This is prior to a lot of the internet or whatever. And I had different colors for everybody. And I think I, I had, I have different egg carries, but I had three of these little bunnies and, you know, with names. And I thought, well, it'd be nice to maybe all do some names for everyone that's coming and put an egg on their place. I've made different kinds of placeholders. I'm not going to use these. I have three right here, but I have other ones that I've made and other ones that I have. And I thought maybe I'll make them with the kids, some new ones. Maybe I'll cover it and put everyone's name on it and they can take it with them. So yeah, so I got those, but yeah, I'm going to use some of them in here too for us. Very cute, but I just thought you guys get a kick out of that. Have a lot of other bunny stuff um, from the Dollar Tree from back in the day. I'm coming across it now as I'm as as I'm unpacking. Okay, so then I have these Waverly ribbons. These were 50 cents on clearance. Three yards. I'm going to use these. I'm making some pillowcase dresses, and I will cover that and show you that. But I've got these from my craft room. I may use them for other things, but 50 cents. You can't beat that for the Waverly ribbon. And that's an unmarked clearance. I picked it up before I went back, checked it out. It was there. Got a huge unmarked clearance on, I know you guys are going crazy on those sequin boxes. Well, I have to tell you guys, <laughs> crazy deal in Walmart. And I had to go like 15 times to the price checker because some of them were marked, some of them weren't. Some of them were $5, some of them were a dollar. But these are the bigger sequins boxes. And they were all a dollar. I picked up a lot of them. I controlled myself on that too. I didn't buy every single one like I normally probably would. But I picked them up. And I'll show you them in just a minute. Now, I for my bathroom down here, which we just did over, and I'll show you that. I'll do a reveal on that. You've got a lot of stuff coming up. I had these forever, these little blueprints. I forgot about them, okay? Because when they took everything out of my house, I didn't even remember. But I love these. And I forget where I got them. It was some artistic catalog or something that sold note cards and stuff. And they're, pro they're very familiar. I can't think of the artist right now, if you know what you can say. But I have another one where they're all brushing their teeth. And they hung in um, my powder room. But they were in different color frames that matched the vanity that was in there. And I needed white frames. So I put them in here. I'm going to put them on the wall. But these are the frames I got. I got them at Walmart. They were $4 a piece. And I will do... I will show you the other one, and I'll, I'll do the whole reveal of that bathroom very shortly. Okay, so these were the rainbow color liquid dye kits. Got that for coloring eggs. Okay, let's see what else I have. Um, showed you guys that. I showed you that. Oh, we went to the um, to see the Harlem Globetrotters in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. I had to cover that for my blog. And in Wilkes-Barre, I saw a Ross, okay? I've been to a Ross, I think, once in my life in Florida. They don't have them by us. So this, they have these Dina Home. These perfectly match my powder room, and I have a big towel bore. So I thought, okay, let me, put, let me get these. And I got two of them. I was so upset they didn't have any other guest towels or anything like that, but maybe I'll look online and see, but I just wanted to get these because they were just so pretty. So I picked those up. Then for those of you that like books, I picked up some books and all these. I like Joel Osteen. This was Breakout. This is $2.99. I also picked up The Map of Heaven, and this was $2.99. No. Picked up The Will of a Man and The Way of a Woman, and $1.99. The way of letting go. And this was what, $3.99? Thank you. Picked up this Minecraft um, annual 2018 book. And this was $3.99. It's really nice. They like that. It has a lot of um, building. Ideas. I'm not really into Minecraft, but like the Water Park Challenge, stuff like that. They were really happy. So, pick that up. And then picked up this Fresh Start from Joel Osteen, really $21.58, and it was 
And then I picked up the Broken Way. Whoops. Okay, and a Daring Path into the Abundant Life. And this was $4.99. But then I got 10% off everything because I have um, an Ollie's uh, coupon thing. So these were Peep Socks, really cute. They came in all different colors. Um, these were 99 cents. Okay, I'm trying to think here. And I know there was a lot, a lot of other stuff at Ollie's. Oh my gosh, it's, my husband didn't bring everything in. I got these stencils that if you guys are into arts and crafts, you're not gonna believe. I'm gonna have to do a part two on this, I think, because he put a bunch of my stuff. Or I'll just stop and then I'll just keep it all in one video. That's what I'll do. Okay, so guys, here's the other huge bargain that I saw at Ollie's. And they had different um, packages of these. They This was the first, the only one with the, dis no, they actually had another one that had a little background, but I didn't want it, like little tiny little hearts and just, I had no need for something like that. And they had a, a few of the different letters, which I'll show you in a minute. It's really nice if you want to do any crafts and, you know, put designs on, put designs on them. And that's exactly what I want to do. Wait till you see the price on this, guys. $2.99. So that includes all of those. It even gives you, I believe, the instructions on how to make that table. The letter stencils, value pack 52 designs. The other one at 39 designs. They have four inch and six inch letters. And they had a different kind. These are the kind of letters. That's the kinds I wanted. They had different kinds, like thinner ones and Again, held back, got these, happy, great, $2.99. Guarantee you the original price on this is more than $2.99 because I think it's at least got to be $10.99, but I could even see it $14.99, $15.99, something like that. So I will check that out and let you know. But anyway, okay, a lot of you were going on and on about those sequin boxes at the dollar store. Well, I saw those sequin boxes at the dollar store, and they are nothing like the ones that I got at Walmart. These are the ones at Walmart. What I thought was funny, they had red ones with like a snowflake design. I thought, okay, well, those would be 50 cents if these are a dollar. But they were a dollar. So I was like, why would I get the snowflake design when I just get the plain red that you can use anytime? And the quality of these is so much better, and the size is much better. Now, these are normally $5. In many of the stores, they still are. Now, only certain colors were ringing up on sale. The only reason I got it inkling that they might be on sale is there's this one aisle it's not marked a clearance aisle but a lot of clearance stuff tends to show up there so if there's something there that i like i always try to take it and price check it when i have time and i usually am pleasantly surprised so these are the regular like the big full-size cubes they are the nice big cube only the front is the sequins and so let me show you exactly the great deal drive yourself if you have OCD you drive yourself nuts like fixing the sequins right but anyway I could have bought many 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 I try to be good because I like I said to you guys I'm not I don't want the house of a hoarder I want to get things that I need I do need these we are building shelves downstairs and I want to use these in closets too for storage. I will show you more about that. I'll show you about the shelves. But anyway, let's see what I got here. So here's another red. Probably can store those right inside, which is nice. And then they had this nice, like, call it like a mermaid <laughs> aqua green. These were a dollar. Okay. Okay, another red. Some like would, would bring up 496, 496. Red, like I said, I you could have gotten red with snowflakes, but again, why would I want that? Now the multicolor, you had to be careful. There was another multicolor that was more like a rainbow that was not on sale. But this, which is a gold, red, and green, I guess kind of like a Christmassy kind of color, even though it doesn't say that, um, was a dollar. So I picked those up. A dollar. This is nice that they can all go in there. Look at that. I might have to open another one. Another of the mermaid. Oh, Agua. 
flashy storage, right? My kids like this kind of stuff too. Here's another green one. The other thing I thought to do with them is my older kids, um, when they come for Easter, I thought, well, putting out one of these and because they always need like storage in their closets and rooms and stuff like that. Um, my daughter's moved to a new apartment. So I thought, well, I'd do that and I'd put like her bath bombs and things that I get her for Easter in there instead of a basket type thing. And it would be a good storage storage idea. You could even put an extra one in there, right? So here's the green. And blue! Stop it! You are! Here's the other green. And green. Wow, that, that, was, that, that fit perfectly. And here's another of the multicolor. That fit perfectly in there. Look at that. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that better. So yeah, very good. Let me just pop this down. This is a decorative runner, but I'm not going to use it on my table. I'm going to use it. I have this oak filing cabinet in the other room, and I want to use it on the top of that because I like the colors, and it matches kind of the rug I have in there. So I saw this. This was on clearance. Uh, originally, it was, I think, 15 or 19. It was down to 11, and then it came down to 7. And seven was unmarked on it. So I scanned it, found that out, picked that up. Okay, so this is the yarn that I was looking for. This is the Bernat Viva. This was the dollar. Um, so I guess this is a good bit. If it was on a spool, it probably would have been maybe close to what that other one was. So, But it just the price is very different, like I was saying. But anyway, so we've got this. We're going to use this. We're going to use this for stringings, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to do some twine. Maybe, I don't know, I have a lot of twine ones, so I'm going to see how this yarn works this time. See how this works. Might make a little stir your eggs. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I will put some twine in, do that in another video. Okay, and then I picked up one of these back scratcher shoehorn thingies, and uh, this decorative fly sweater. So... Anyway, that's the end of that haul right now. I will get on to the craft and show you guys that.